Good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at uh, CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Wednesday, the 27th of June 2018. It's been a roller coaster, to say the least. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so uh, overnight Asian markets down quite substantially, uh, certainly coming under immense pressure uh, with regards to uh, risk aversion. Uh, it's basically triggered by uh, numerous factors. First of all, Mr. Z stating that he's going into a full-on trade war, prepping his um, uh, potential uh, CEOs there uh, of uh, leading companies in China. Uh, and again, that certainly uh, causes the uh, risk off to spiral out of control. We also have the concern regarding tra U.S. Treasuries. China stating that it's no longer going to buy U.S. Treasuries, which in turn obviously causes the uh, yuan to certainly uh, devalue which in turn causes the dollar to go higher and therefore your Chinese uh, exports become cheaper, US exports become more expensive. But basically, China has America where it wants it, basically. It can manipulate America in any way in which it wants, okay? It can control its bond market because it's the largest buyer and obviously it controls its... It can manipulate the exports uh, via... Well, it certainly manipulate its export and its uh, fiscal, obviously, sustainability as well, given the fact that it's obviously massive amounts of debt. If nobody, if somebody like China is no longer buying U.S. Treasuries, that causes the yields to spike, okay, uh, which in turn obviously uh, uh, debauches a uh, person, causes a dollar uh, to be uh, useless. Let's put it that way, okay. Uh, but for our present, it certainly is causing the um, the dollar certainly to put, well, not necessarily push higher, but the yuan certainly to to decrease, which in turn obviously gives it that competitive edge. Okay, so that's certainly the status quo at present, okay, uh, in terms of the markets again. Uh, individuals are concerned with regards to growth going down the road and potential investments being on hold so those factors certainly adding up as well in terms of europe obviously we already know with regards to immigration concerns with regards to merkel with regards to brexit that certainly is a concern as an in and of itself okay uh, so that's basically the status quo at the moment okay in terms of the market so again you can see a risk off session in asia china down quite significantly uh, the markets have started to uh, short squeeze higher on the back of uh, comments when mr uh, Mnuchin stating that uh, they are going 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 to go down the route of the CIFI, CFIS, which is CFIS, okay, uh, rather than obviously impose measures on directly in China and obviously uh, investment obviously controls as well. So again, that cer certainly is interesting. How long that potential short squeeze lasts is anybody's guess. So let's just see exactly how the markets are faring. Mr. Carney did actually state that uh, it was, was quite dovish, uh, arguing that um, emerging market concerns, etc., certainly will keep a uh, 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 the interest rates at bay. Okay, so certainly a dovish speech there. That certainly helped the FTSE as well. Oil prices rallying on the back of Iran, uh, given the fact that Americans are now directly attempting to um, uh, decrease or neutralize the exports for Iran. Okay, uh, which again really is self-defeating really. Okay, because that will cause oil prices to go higher and the Saudis want to pump more. Certainly seems like it's some sort of profit objective role. Either way, that's the status quo. We have to deal with it, and that certainly has helped the FTSE as well to a large extent. Okay, now let's see exactly where the markets are. In terms of the German DAX, we've certainly put in a potential pivot low. Having said that, one would need to be aware that there is another further gap down below 11,960. Okay, and concerns regarding trade still exist. Okay, nothing's been resolved from that perspective. Certainly is a tone down from the Americans, uh, Americans' view, but whether or not that lasts, that's a different question altogether. Okay, 60-minute chart at the moment. The German DAX certainly has bounced from that uh, key uh, support level around the 12,150 zone. We've bounced almost 200 pips, which is quite impressive, okay? Uh, again, uh, certainly overdone to a large extent at the moment. Now, you are looking at resistance at the moment. You've got 200 MA above as well, so certainly looking for a potential reversal here. In terms of the... Uh, French CAC here as well. French CAC certainly has bounced 6 fib 61. Okay, you are coming into resistance now in this zone here. 10 minute chart certainly has closed the gap as well around the 5340 zone. You got horizontal resistance at 5350, so looking for a reverse on the French CAC as well. 60 minute chart, quite impressive. Daily chart, let's just give you an insight there. Potential bottoming tail. Having said that, there is another further gap below at 5150, so take that into consideration too. FTSE 100 has been quite an impressive thrust, okay, ever since we held that double bottom, 7.510, we've certainly bounced, okay, on the back of higher oil prices and obviously Mr. Carney being dovish as well. Daily chart still within that uh, bearish engulfing candle though, so just bear that in mind, certainly don't turn uh, super bullish at present, the market certainly can reverse, okay. 60 minute chart, let's see how, much, how far we thrust higher there. 10 minute chart, at the moment, let's just uh, add in the pivot points here, I'm not sure what the pivot points are here. 
Okay, let's give you an insight in terms of the actual move. A pivot point extreme will be around 7620. Okay, so it certainly has a possibility of going there. Double bottom certainly held that gap fill. And the markets or the FTSE certainly been rallying ever since the back of dovish commentary from Mr. Draghi, Mr. Mr. Carney. So again, uh, overextended given the fact that we about rallied from 7510 now, almost 100 points from the potential low there. Okay, so looking for a reversal. Okay, so I think that certainly is a uh, summation really of European indices. Uh, markets obviously swooning on the back of China, Treasury concerns, uh, Chinese uh, yuan devaluation as well, and Mr. Trump's comments, and Mr. Z preparing for a full on trade war. Uh, certainly have been negated due to the uh, tone down from the Americans now. Uh, the bully no longer uh, attempting to be a bully. It's now purring like a cat, a little pussycat. So, again, markets certainly have short squeeze. And that, how long that lasts, again, that's uh, that certainly is anybody's guess. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading uh, potential signals and market updates from leading providers. And be sure to download the latest trading app. Goodbye now.